And we have more news from the games. And this one is about food. South Korea and Japan are fighting each other over the menu at the Olympics. The South Korean Olympic team has refused to eat what is being served at the Olympic Village in Tokyo. They've rented an entire kitchen. They've imported their own ingredients, flown in their own chefs to cook their meals. Why are they doing this? Because South Korea fears that Japan is feeding athletes contaminated food and their meals are now being checked for radiation. At the Tokyo Olympics, South Korea has rented an entire hotel. Fourteen chefs have been sent to Japan to prepare meals for the team. They've come equipped with their own food supplies. But this story is not about the ingredients. It's about this. The South Korean team has a radiation detector in the kitchen. Why do they need it? The South Koreans are worried that their athletes will be fed contaminated food food that is grown in Fukushima, the region that was hit by a nuclear disaster in 2011. South Korea has launched a separate food program for its athletes and delegates. The meals are cooked in this kitchen that's 20 minutes away from the Olympic Village. And every ingredient is scanned for radiation. We have put more effort this time because of the coronavirus concern and because people are quite sensitive over the origin of ingredients such as those from Fukushima. Additionally, the weather here is very hot and humid and we have to be extra careful of hygiene to prevent food poisoning incidents. The Japanese have responded with anger. The organizers have dismissed the concerns of the South Korean team. And even before the event, a politician remarked that South Korea's behavior, quote, tramples the hearts of Fukushima. But the South Koreans remain unconvinced. <laughs> this row is just the latest episode in a long history of distrust between Japan and South Korea. The two neighbors have been at each other's throats even at the Olympics. Ten days ago, the South Korean team sparked a controversy with some politically charged banners. They hung the Japanese rising sun flag from their balconies. The rising sun used to be the official flag of the Japanese Imperial Navy. This is the same force that had colonized the Korean Peninsula before the Second World War. The decision by the South Korean team to hoist these banners was a signal to the hosts. They haven't forgotten the atrocities committed by Japan in South Korea. Japan wanted to use the Olympics to open a dialogue with South Korea again. But those plans were derailed when a Japanese diplomat made an inappropriate comment about Mu Jae-in. As a result, the South Korean president canceled his trip to Tokyo. Now the Olympics have become a battleground for the two neighbors to fight. Bureau Report, World is One. Vion is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.